Welcome to installing the Telerik NuGet feed. I'm Ed Charbonneau, Senior Developer Advocate for Progress and Microsoft MVP. Over the next few minutes, we'll learn how to add the Telerik NuGet feed to your NuGet sources using both the NuGet EXE on Windows and by editing the NuGet config on all platforms. Let's start by opening Visual Studio and checking our NuGet package manager settings. To get to the settings, click Tools from the main toolbar, then select NuGet Package Manager and Package Manager Settings. From here, we can see our list of NuGet sources and the Telerik feed is missing. When we add new Package Manager sources, Visual Studio will need to be restarted. So we'll go ahead and close Visual Studio now. Next, I'll open docs.telerik.com in my web browser and navigate to one of the products I'm currently using. We'll expand the installation topic and select Telerik Private NuGet Feed. In this section, we have complete instructions on how to register the private Telerik NuGet Feed on our system. For now, we'll be focusing on the section that explains how to add the Telerik NuGet Feed using the NuGet Executable. The first thing we need to do is download the latest NuGet Executable to our machine. We can do that by clicking the link provided in the documentation for us. Once the file is downloaded on the machine, we can open up a command console where that file is located and execute the following command. When we run the NuGet sources add command from the command line, be sure to replace your username with your login email and the password with the password that you use for your Telerik account. When the command is entered correctly, the console will respond with package source with the name Telerik.com has been added successfully. After the command runs, we'll reopen Visual Studio and reinspect the package manager settings. In our package manager sources, you can see we have a new Telerik.com package source listed. An alternative method of adding the Telerik NuGet feed to your NuGet sources is to directly edit the NuGet config file. This is not only helpful for Windows users, but for users on other platforms where the NuGet EXE is not supported. For Windows users, the NuGet config file is located under the app data directory. For all other platforms, you can find your NuGet feed under the .config directory. This file can be opened with a text editor and modified directly. Instructions for modifying the NuGet config file can also be found at docs.telerk.com under the installation heading. From there, we can scroll down to the NuGet config file subheading and follow the instructions on modifying the config file there. We'll need to open the NuGet config file in a text editor and append the package sources and package source credentials elements from the instructions on docs.telerk.com. Be sure to replace your username and password in the package source credentials section. Once the NuGet config file is saved, you can add or restore Telerik NuGet packages using the .NET CLI. You can find more information about the NuGet feed at docs.telerik.com and learn more about the NuGet package manager and the .NET CLI at the following Microsoft documentation sites.